Hi Blender fans, this is JNM again with a short video on Blender modeling. We start by showing the result, this hard surface model that we are going to create and then we go step by step through the modeling process. Okay, so let's jump right in. We have the 3D cursor centered and press Shift A and add a cylinder. Okay, then I set the size and press tab to switch to edit mode. Then select this face, press E, move it slightly up and then directly S to scale it. Then the E key again to extrude in Z direction and this is already the basic shape of this object. Now the next step, press Z and change to wireframe. Then I press the B key and select these faces here. Okay, and now comes a cool trick to turn this into a checker selection. But one of the faces has to be active. So I press the shift key and deselect the face and directly after that I select it again and now it is the active one. Then I press space and find checker deselect. And then I get a selection like this. Then I choose Extrude Individual and slightly move the mouse. After that I press S and Z to scale it just a little bit in Z direction. Nice, now I select the top face, press I to add an inset, then E to extrude it to the inside and the S key again to scale down the inner part. Now we also have to add a kind of insert to the middle part of the cylinder. So I add edge loops by pressing Ctrl R, move the mouse wheel to add two edge loops and then I press B to select these inner faces here. To extrude it to the inside I press E followed by the return key directly and then I press S to scale it down. Alright and this is the shape I was going for but I add one more edge loop and move it to the bottom of the cylinder. Then I select the bottom face by pressing the B key and then scale it down after pressing the S key to have this kind of bevel. Okay, the next step will be a boolean difference operation. So I switch to object mode and add a new cylinder. But for this one, I only use five vertices. What I want to do is to cut this new cylinder into the object. So I move it upwards but I change to wireframe mode just to see how deep we are going to cut into the object. Then I select my object in object mode, add a modifier of type boolean for the operation we use difference and the object are set to the new cylinder with the five vertices. After that I press apply and here you can see the result. Great and now I show you again the steps that I already showed in the previous video about hard surface modeling. These are set the shading to smooth, select the sharp edges, mark them as sharp and set the main bevel weight to 1. Then you can go ahead and add a bevel modifier, use weight for the limit method, add 3 or 4 segments and adjust the width till you're happy with the sharpness of the edges. Ok and what you should also do is to switch here to the object data tab and enable auto smooth to have a nice and smooth shading. So guys that's it, I really hope you liked this video and my channel and if you do then please don't forget to like and subscribe to be notified when the next video is online. Thanks for watching this and thanks for your support and stay tuned. Come back soon to JNM.